Morning everyone and um, welcome to uh, Turner's Journey episode 82. I'm just walking up to work um, this morning. Well, I walk to work every morning, it's not very far. And uh, ju just up to the workshop. Um, but it looks like the the um, the uh, response so far to yesterday's uh, daily update has been uh, has been favourable. So that's uh, that's good. I'm very pleased. Um, very pleased about that. And it didn't take me that long really to um, put everything put everything together on the phone at the end of the day and uh, get it uploaded. So it's not uh, it's not too much of a not too much of a um, problem. So I think we'll probably end up doing a daily thing doing a daily thing uh, from now on or certainly as close to daily as I can possibly get but here we are <clears throat> it's not much of a it's not much of a walk to work I have to say but there's uh, there's the Hampshire Sheen shed and here's the workshop so I just need to get in uh, uh, there. right and here we are. Right, let me just get settled down and then I'll tell you what I need to do today. So at the um, at the desk uh, in the workshop now, uh, I've got a few things I need to do uh, this morning before I can even consider doing any turning. The first one is to get out um, some orders from the last week when I was uh, when I was off. I normally try and ship every day um, or at least every Tuesday and Thursday, but. Generally, it's uh, generally it's every day, but because I've been off for a week, um, I've got uh, a few orders that I need to get out uh, this morning. So um, I've got to print off the packing lists and then transpose all of those order details over onto the FedEx um, website and get those booked in for collection and therefore delivery tomorrow to uh, to the UK mainland. So I'm going to um, I'm going to do that and then um, pack up the orders. And then each and every order gets um, gets the leaflet, one of uh, one of the M Saban Smith returning stickers, and uh, on, and also um, a Hampshire Sheen reminder on where to order from next. Now the uh, those orders are packed up and they've uh, and they've been taken down, ready to be picked up by FedEx. Uh, I need to go through the last uh, the last week's emails and voicemail messages. Um, I've got about 20, 30 of each to uh, to go through, so that's that's the next the next job, and then I can start looking at the state of uh, the workshop. One of the um, one of the parts of the workshop that um, I've never been a hundred percent satisfied with is this area over here by um, by the window that overlooks um, what are they called fields. Um, because it's always just sort of ended up as a a bit of a, a bit of a dumping ground, and uh, I've ne I've never really liked that. Um, as you can see, you know that it's just got stuff all over it. So this afternoon, this afternoon's job is to um, clear it up, and box up all of the the various burr pieces. I really need to tidy this up because I need to be able to work on this lathe. Now, quite a few of you um, noticed that um, the Galaxy disappeared from um, my videos a few months ago um, to be replaced by the Axminster 2030 lathe. Um, I didn't sell it, clearly, because it's still here, um, but I did actually... I did actually have a bit of a problem with it. Um, the PCB board um, in the headstock blew, um, and it was taking quite a while to replace because at the time there weren't any replacement parts um, in the country. But um, it got fixed and uh, it came back, so now it, it's here um, by the window, sort of as a dedicated or a main kind of hollowing lathe and on, on the top or mounted to the lathe permanently is the Simon Hope hollowing jig which um, I really really enjoy um, using it's a fantastic bit of kit. One of my problems is I get bored very easily I need to keep I need to keep my head 
running as fast as I possibly can all the time. So I virtually tidied up that bench over there and now I've just set up the cooker um, in the workshop because I'm desperate to have a play with um, some bismuth again. So I'm cooking up some bismuth with um, sort of a bit of an idea of what I could do uh, Christmas Christmas gift wise um, by mounting a bismuth crystal on something. Um, so I've got to wait for that to do its thing. And whilst that's doing its thing, I can um, do something else. Well, I'm pretty satisfied at the moment with how the bismuth experiment has, uh, has turned out. But this one is the nicest so far. Um, I'll go into... Um, I'll go into the technique when I actually get a um, a project video up and ready um, for it. But whilst this lot has been cooling down and doing its thing, I've put um, an ash blank on the uh, on the lathe and sanded it down because I've suddenly realised um, I need to get um, a how-to video done for the um, for the quacks and I haven't managed to do that yet um, so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow is um, is film that if I get time or if there is time I might do it today but I don't want to have to break shooting in half if I um, um, if it comes to if it comes to it so I would rather shoot in one go um, so I may may have time to do it this afternoon I need to charge the camera batteries, so it's probably more likely um, that it will be uh, tomorrow. So just when you think it's safe to go home, um, I get an email, or I get a Facebook message from one of my followers saying that the website is um, displaying that it is a demo site only, which of course it isn't. Um, so I've had a um, peruse over um, over the website and I've found the reason why so that's all sorted um, and it was a little bit of a panic because the uh, the company who provide these t-shirts for me and stuff and print them to um, order and the sweatshirts and stuff like that um, have just given me um, a discount on them um, on orders until uh, Sunday until Sunday night and I thought, being the nice chap that I am, I'd pass that discount on to you. So I've just updated the website and um, um, put it out on um, on Facebook uh, to say that there is a discount on the on the gifts and apparel um, on the website. And uh, oh, are the codes in the description, by the way? Um, and then it came up saying that it's a demo site, which of course it isn't. But I've um, sorted that now. Um, and I was just all packed, all packed up and ready to go home when that came in. And it's, uh, I don't know, what time is it? It's 10 to 4, so I'm going to go home, make myself a drink, and then sit down and reply to the other emails that I didn't get a chance to do um, earlier on. So that's it for today, folks. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow when we'll go through the setup and stuff of um, the video for the um, the Hampshire Sheen Sea Wax how-to video. Right, catch you later. Bye for now.